Okay, example one. They're telling us that these two triangles, the blue one, triangle RST, and the red one, triangle XYZ, are similar. And they want us to list all congruent angles. Well, those are the angles that correspond. And if you look at the name, the first two, uh, the first position um, is angle R in the first one, and in the other triangle, angle X is in uh, the first position. So they correspond and are congruent. In the second position, we have angle S, which is going to be congruent to angle Y, which is also in the second position. And angle T corresponds to angle Z, because both those angles are in the last position of the name. Okay, they're telling us that these guys are similar, so that means each of their corresponding sides also have to be in the same ratio. So let's start. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a, uh, a, a ratio. And I'll start with the bigger triangle on the bottom. So I'll put RS here. And RS is in the first two letters of the first one. So what I have to put in the other one is going to be XY. And let's go to the second one. Let's the last two letters. I have ST. And if I put ST on the bottom, I have to put YZ on top. And last... I have the two end, right? I have TR, and that's going to correspond to ZX. Okay, and let's go back to the first side, RS to XY. RS is 20, XY is 12, and that reduces to 3 fifths as a fraction, or 6 tenths as a decimal. Going to the second side, S, uh, second side, ST. ST is 30. YZ is 18. And that reduces to also 3 fifths or 6 tenths as a decimal. The last side, we have TR, which is equal to 30, its length, and XZ, which is 15. Oops, not 15, excuse me, TR here is 25, okay, and when we're doing this, this reduces to 3 fifths as well, or 0.6, or 6 tenths, and we know these triangles are similar because, well, one, they told us, but mainly, we could also check by looking at the ratios, and all the ratios of all corresponding sides are the same, or the lengths are equal. The ratios are equal. And one way, the first way we did it, right, we did big and small on top. That's the way we set it up. And which was really just what we did on top, XY over RS is equal to YZ over ST is equal to ZX over TR. That's one way. Or we could have done it this way, where we put the big one on top and the small on the bottom. And as long as we stay consistent, then it'll be RS over XY should be equal to ST over YZ which is equal to TR over ZX. And with this, whichever way we did it, all those ratios should be equal. Now, I would like you to try example two on your own and give it a try, and then we'll talk about the scale factor in a moment.